What's your song that reminds you of college? I um, didn't go to college. Enya, I what, did what? A-levels and then I went to university and dropped out. Um, oh, yeah, you went to sixth form, didn't you? Yeah, I went yeah. to a grammar school. Well, there wasn't a sixth form at, my, at our place, so we went to Alton College or Peter Simmons, and I went to Alton. And it wasn't very really good, but we used to just sit on the bank. It's one of the greatest moments of our college uh, days, actually. My friend Gary, when he was 18, we concocted a plan to uh, uh, remove all his clothes and put him in a potato sack. And we did that plan, and it worked swimmingly. And uh, my task was to get Gary to go up to the bank, where, away from the sort of the main educational area of the college. And I uh, let him walk just ahead of me, and then I shouted, let the mayhem commence. And everyone descended upon him, and Robert Vos slammed him in a, uh, a big potato sack. And then we scampered down to the refectory, and he wandered in wearing a potato sack. Great moment. Great days. Fantastic days. I don't stripping know Stripping your mates. I didn't do the stripping, I just said... Let, let, no, you let. just organised it. <laughs> orchestrated the whole event. Get your chosen. <laughs> and then his boxers. <laughs> it was a bit like that, actually. It was very sad. Did you ever get to any uh, japes like that? Well, probably not, John, not because as we found school. out this morning, you were, of course, the captain of the book team, <laughs> age 10. <laughs> That was primary school. Yeah. I was busy getting battered at primary school. A man of rank, as we found out earlier. Yeah. But then... At, at so what did... Oh, hang on a minute. So oh, what, oh. what did captain of the book team... Uh, what did that mean? What, did, what were the... Uh... It just meant I sat on the end of the table when we had book quiz. But we only ever had did one Did you have match. a big sh- captain's armband? Um, well, yeah, that I made myself. Just in case you're wandering around, keep on reading! Come on! <laughs> Do we want this? I want this. Do you want this? Well, it was like that. I was the only one who really cared. We had one match away at Scotforth. We got battered. What happened? Well, we got absolutely battered. What, they read quicker than you? Did you all like, just no, start licking like their books? it was a general knowledge quiz and then a specialist round on three books. The Fox of Skelland. Right. Uh, room 13. Yep. And I can't remember what the other one was. So hang on, what's, you, were in a, you were in a minibus, quite excited, reading the book. No, on we route. got to go in teacher's car. Oh, exciting. Unbelievable. Did, did you ride up front? Yeah, I did. Cause oh, because you tapped it. Oh, mate. Jesus. Up the horn. Tell him we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> but she smoked. Found out that she smoked. <gasps> Can I have a cigarette as I'm captain? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the size of you. <laughs> I stepped in the car and it smelled, and I remember thinking, that's a shame. That's a real shit. Did you have a pipe? I'd have had a pipe. She's gone down in my estimations there. We shall not be having the illicit love affair it, that I thought we would. Yeah, exactly. Who was the teacher? Did you fancy a teacher at school? Did it? That's a good one. Everyone did. No? Okay, fair enough. Mrs. Story I quite liked when I was um, probably about the same age as you. Mm. Sort of about nine. Mm. And, uh, I'm not nine. No, you're not now. But you were <laughs> nine when you were the captain of the book team. Yeah. Uh-huh. God, I achieved a lot. When you achieve that much that young... Where'd you go from there? Yeah, exactly. It's no like, wonder I'm discontented. It's like Forgay Burachaga in many ways. He scored the winner in the 1986 World Cup. What does he do the next day? Sure enough, you were the captain of the You'll book team. you go back the hairdressers. He's like, I seen you, you sharp. There you go. A nice bit of gentle racism. So t- <laughs> tell the listeners what we've got coming up today, Russell. I've forgotten. <laughs> I spent the majority of this morning playing football and I put a bin on my head. Found a, a deflated football upstairs. Yeah, it? Oh, it's exciting. I wanted to mug the show off and just go into a field with you and play football. Yeah, no fields in central London now, are there? Just smoke and crime.